All right, I'm gonna tell you this right up front at the beginning of the video. This video is gonna be short and sweet, uh, mainly because I wanna get through it quickly, because it, you know, information, I'm gonna give you the information quickly. <clears throat> but in addition, my camera battery is about to die. So I'm gonna try and keep this video to roughly under three minutes, hopefully, so let's get into this. I'm gonna roll my standard intro and we'll get into this. So I just wanted to uh, give you the, you know, give you that warning sort of up front so you know what you're in for. All right, and I might rush out at the end if my battery's about to really die. Anyways, let's get into this. Roll, I'm going to roll my standard intro, tell you the topic, and, and we'll do this. Hey, everybody. I'm here today to talk to you about a car tachometer that is jumping between numbers. I'll be going over some causes and fixes in this very simplistic tutorial. Once again, if your car tachometer is jumping between numbers, I'll be going over some causes and fixes in a very simplistic tutorial. So once again, it will be a tutorial outlining causes and fixes for how to fix a car tachometer that is jumping between numbers. So if your car tachometer is going up and down between numbers, this is the video for you. I'll be going over four causes and their associated fixes. Let's get into this. I'm going to go through this quickly. I got about two minutes left, I, I think, give or take. Number one, the probably the more common problem, but you don't want this to happen, is a there's a vacuum leak in the engine. So you might have a vacuum leak in the engine. A vacuum leak in the engine is number one. Sorry, I'm trying to do this fast so I'm stumbling over my words so you might have a vacuum leak in your engine okay you don't want a vacuum leak in the engine I'll tell you why it's not the cheapest fix and it's kind of hard to diagnose in general but nonetheless it, you can go and look up the symptoms of a vacuum leak in the engine and if you have other symptoms that are associated with it then you want to get it looked into and bring it to a mechanic to fix it it's not something that you necessarily want to look at yourself you unless you're like really good you want to bring it to a mechanic okay number two um, you might have a fuel injector problem so you might have a problem with the fuel injectors meaning they're just not giving a consistent amount of fuel which is why your engine would be jumping up and down with regards to its rpms once again fuel injectors a good thing are relatively easy to replace for the most part um so it can be something that you can look into doing yourself um but or bring it to a mechanic but look for other symptoms of fuel injectors being broken and <coughs> and um then uh, you might be able to narrow it down. Yes, I have a paper. I actually have, I've no, I've done notes for all of my videos that I've ever done, basically. Um, so yeah, just, just you know, just quick notes, nothing major, but you can see, not a big deal, just quick notes of what I want to say. So yeah, you want to look into other symptoms of fuel injectors being the problem, and then maybe it, you can diagnose it at, as that, or bring it to a mechanic, okay? Number three, and you have to replace the fuel injectors or clean them. That's another option. I've, I've seen people do that, but I'm not too familiar with that, so I can't speak much about that. Number three, you might have bad wiring to the tech on, so you might have bad wiring to the tack. That is number three. Um, and for that, you have to get into the behind the dashboard and you have to look at the wiring, and diagnose if there's a wiring issue. You might have a short, which might cause that problem. Not likely, but it might cause that problem. But you might have wires touching. Um, you just might have a loose wire where it's working and not working, depending on if you're going over a bump. If you notice that it stops, it starts jumping if you go over a bump, that might lead me to uh, think that it would be a wiring issue. But you want to look into that further once again. Get a multimeter, start testing things out. Get a continuity meter start testing things out a multimeter also has a continuity meter most of them have one built in okay and uh, well, we're at three minutes and 20 seconds the battery still got some battery left we're okay last but not least number four the fourth cause and potential solution uh, number four is insufficient power and in ground so you might have insufficient power or insufficient ground going to there which is also another form of a wiring problem the for number three when I said bad wiring I was talking about the signal wire but for number four when I say insufficient power and in ground I'm talking about the power and ground you know essentially you might be getting power on and off to the tachometer which is going to cause it to work and not work which is going to cause it to kind of jump up and down if you notice the tachometer lights are going on and off too that might be that might lead me to believe that it would be something regarding this um then yeah it might just be a loose connection. So if you're looking at it and you see something looks loose, you know, you might be able to look into which is the power and ground, which are the power and ground wires for the tachometer, and you might be able to plug them back in tighter, you know, uh, resolder them, kind of look at, see what your options are. But that's it. If your car tachometer is jumping between numbers, these are causes and fixes in a very simplistic tutorial. I went over my time limit, but I'm still good with my battery. But anyways, we're good. Hopefully you enjoyed this video instructional tutorial about a car tachometer and so forth, bouncing between numbers, jumping between numbers. If you liked, oh, I can breathe finally. Okay. If you if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today wow well, we made it so we're going to repeat that last part because we made it i still got enough battery to last me so we're going to repeat that last part here we go i'm going to roll the outro again calmly um if you like this video about a tachometer bouncing and jumping between numbers please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching